Okay, let's uh, announce this thing to people so we actually might have some activity in the chat. Let's see. Yeah, sorry about the setup, guys. Let's see. So, yeah, okay. Um, hopefully some people will visit. Let's see. Let's go back in to the stream manager. Okay. Um, right. What we're going to try to do, well, what I've already basically already done, but I'm going to explain how, is how to set up uh, the Reaper DAW in Linux and get a functional recording setup and then I'll try my hand in trying to get uh, some Windows VSTs to run. Um, yeah, but, uh, I, have, I haven't had a good experience with that, but uh, we'll give it a go. Okay, so let's talk about my setup here. Um, this is my desktop, it's uh, Arch Linux. Uh, and uh, well, yeah, this is my own DWM setup. Uh, I can drop a link to my dot files if you want, but let's uh, talk about the hardware first. This is an AMD Ryzen box with eight cores and 16 threads, 32 gigs of memory. It's got some SSDs in there and uh, uh, the interface is a Mark of the Unicorn M4. Uh, so it, any interface would probably work. Uh, so, Besides that, there's also music gear. I'm listed it in the in the in the screen. I've got uh, a Bugera 333 XL, which is basically a JSX PVJ6 JSX clone. Uh, a tour a Tuno Torpedo Live, which is basically providing the, which is the load box which goes into my interface. And there's my Washburn Solar here, which you will probably also see. And then there's also a pedal board with some effects on it. Uh, well, first it goes into the DI box, which splits the signal into my interface directly. And uh, the other end goes through the amp, through the load box and in my interface. So basically I have two channels where my guitar comes into. One is a clean one without any uh, pre-processing whatsoever. So basically the DI. And the other one is from the amp, from the load box into my interface. So what's on my pedal board? On my pedal board, well, it's the DI box. There's a cheap uh, pedal board tuner. It also has like a, uh, uh, like a power distribution thing. So it also provides the power for my uh, pedal board. Uh, and a classic Maxon OD808 for a clean boost and a mower preamp, 50-50, which basically, uh, and then, I have the cock blocker set up uh, with four cable method, and it all goes into the FX return of the Bugera. So you won't be hearing the Bugera, but you will be hearing the mower preamp, and the Bugera is basically providing the power amp. So, okay. Uh, so that's basically the audio, that's the music gear I'll be using. So, uh, when it comes to software, um, uh, well, yeah, Arch, but probably any distribution will work. Just the method of installing will be different, but uh, 
Uh, so basically, you need Jack, uh, Jack version 2. Uh, use Cadence for routing. You'll see, I'll, I'll show it. Uh, then for the Windows plugins, I'll use uh, Wine Staging, which is a newer version of Wine. You could probably get away with the stable version. But uh, as you will see, neither of them will probably work with what I intend to do. And I'll, I'll show you some pitfalls you will run into when installing Windows VSTs. Uh, and then for wrapping uh, the VSTs, I will use Airwave, which basically uh, uh, creates an object file in a VST directory, which Reaper can pick up and use, supposedly. So um, to install all of this stuff in Arch, you have to do this. Well, of course, the, you have to install the Reaper package, Cadence, uh, Jack2. The, uh, you need a, a module for Pulse Audio so you can hook into Jack. Uh, A2J MIDI D is for like MIDI routing, for Wine, air, Airwave, etc. Et so uh, let's get started with uh, Jack to get Jack up and running. You need something. I use Cadence to set everything up for me, which is the easiest. So I'll just uh, conjure it up on the screen uh, here. Hang on. Okay, hang on. Okay. Here we go. That's yeah, awfully white. Uh, to get Cadence to work properly, you need a couple of things. You need to be uh, in two groups, your user. Uh, you need to be in audio group, and you need to have access to real-time priority. In Arch, there's a package called Realtime which sets that up for you. And then basically, uh, you have to make sure that you're uh, in this group and in the audio group. And you will probably need to re-log in for that to be active. So then you will you can start you can start Cadence and then you go. I've already got it configured, but then you go into configuration. You select your hardware. Uh, I've got 4.8 kilohertz, 64 buffer size, which will amount to about one point something milliseconds of latency. And uh, basically, this is also important to set up the, the Pulse Audio Bridge, so you can also use your interface while you are recording shit. So there. Let's see if there's people in the chat. Nope, nothing. Too quiet. This will be archived anyway. So, um, yeah, okay. Uh, er everything's up and running. And then uh, in uh, Cadence, there's also a very nice tool called Katia, which will, which will um, configure your routing. Already did some routing. Um, basically, from the Capture 2, which is this is my interface. And into like, and this is OBS. This is uh, Discord, which is running, and this is the system output. If I, when I start Reaper, I'll just show that. You will see that uh, this one got added. Uh, my tiling, okay, this is better. Uh, so, uh, Reaper has been added. So let's see if we can get some audio out of it. So let's uh, insert a new track. So to record. And my load box is on system capture four. So let's turn on my app. Let's grab a guitar. Ah. Can I turn my uh, for a comparison, I could like let you hear. Uh, this is my DI. This is my DI track. You can see there's there's input, but you probably won't hear anything. That's because of the routing, which I will fix right now. 
uh, what you need to do. I've got uh, this is also OBS. This is a different a different uh, uh, Jack client. So basically, drag these lines over here. And now you should be able to hear my DI signal. Mm. But uh, DI is pretty boring, so I'll just uh, switch to the amp. Which is on 4, if it cooperates. Come on, you son of a bitch. So... <laughs> So basically, and I can also uh, show you recording. So, as you can see, it will probably work. Oh, volume helps. Yeah, so that works. Let's uh, stop this. And I can also you can also play back. Let's do a split here. Yeah, let's move it back up. Oh, hang on. Get rid of you. So yeah, works fine. So basically, this is standard recording. So basically, if you want to do standard recording, you're basically done, right? So you have you can get access to the you can get access to uh, oh, oh I have to show show you something first because in Reaper you need uh, of course use Jack as the audio system, but that's quite that's that's uh, straightforward, right? But uh, uh, yeah, as you can see, latency is pretty good, 1.3 to 2.6. I could probably lower the buffer even more, get even less latency. And uh, yeah, yeah. It, uh, so basically recording. That's uh, basically what we have now. So uh, let's try to get some VSTs running, which is uh, going to be fun because it will probably not work. I tried before. Let's uh, start with a clean wine prefix. Okay. Um, let's try to get the uh, tune track stuff to work. So I'm starting with an empty wine prefix, and this will probably fail. This used to work though. Yeah, it, uh, it, 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 it bombed out somehow. Hang on. Okay, what the hell is going on? Maybe I need some uh, wine tricks magic. Okay. Let's change some settings. Let's go with Windows 10. Yeah, complain, complain. Let me. Nobody's watching. Uh, I 
Oh, hang on. Uh, I could probably pop this one out just in case. And put this on all tags here. So, so there. Okay. What? Okay. Maybe it needs some more stuff. Hang on. Uh, let's see. Maybe we can override some stuff. Usually it's like MFC stuff that it gets fucked by. Yeah, let's try this first. Why is this in German? PC Redist, does it need, does it need that as well? Hang on. Let's see. Needs this one, this one. PCRT. Uh, let's do that one as well. Why not? What the hell, man? Was it was it six? This one. Okay, that kind of sucks. Uh, let's see what works now. Nope. Let's see. Let's check Reddit. See which overrides people used. No, no.
to use in LinVST. Yeah, sorry, this is probably incredibly boring. Let's check the app DB. Let's see. No notes. No, that's not useful. Why doesn't it run? This used to work though. Maybe he needs uh, one of those C++ things. Try thirty two. Yeah, uh, it's all this. Does it, does it need one of does it need top net stuff? Nothing. Is it uh, the window manager? Let's go into floating mode. Let's see. Okay. 
Okay, let's see if this is... No. Why doesn't that work anymore? It used to work. That's broken. Um, okay, let's uh, let's try something else. Um, let's try a, a loose VST. Uh, What's that ignite amp? Engineering for the wash pit. Emissary. Get it. Gotta love that price. Yeah, 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 just... Why is this STL tones, suddenly? Ignite part of STL tones all of a sudden. I've got an account here. Is about my info? Let's get it from here. Just uh, sixty four bit windows. Okay. What really? Yeah, I know it's free, but I don't want to. I just want to download it. Give me an older version, I don't care. Why cannot why can't I download this? I cannot type today. Yeah, 
he goes to STL tones again. Okay, let's uh, try uh, um, um, I could try that. Le Pou. Yes. Let's try Le Pou. Let's try this one. And Let's do a cap loader. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this one was broken. I have to move it somewhere. Hang on. Where did my... Die. No, I killed you. Oh, you're floating, of course. Okay, that's a lot better. Okay, um, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's get you in the background. Okay, let's add some links. Let's see. There's the amp. And let's add the cap loader. Okay. Let's uh, get rid of Reap. Let's see if Reaper finds them. Okay, it's the same problem I had before. And now Reaper is stuck. This is really crappy. Let's see. Let's uh, trace. Let's try again. Let's 
Somehow lose connection for some reason. Okay. Let's try a different version of wine. Yeah, sure. Get rid of it. Die. Let's do it again. Yep, that's fine. Hey, hang on. Are we suddenly working? PSD. 32 bit one is working. Failed to load. Okay, now it's stuck. Okay. Now, what's. This is the problem. This is actually the problem. Um, when you want to try to get uh, Windows plugins to run, you know, just getting basic Reaper functionality uh, up and running, uh, and maybe Linux native VSTs, no problem. That will work just fine. But Getting Windows VSTs to run is so finicky, finicky and so mercurial, and it's a problem. So, yeah. And this is why we can't have nice things. Sometimes it works, and as you can see, you need very little for it to break, and it's, 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 it's a card house. It's really unstable. So, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it at this. Uh, I do have to get some work done, so I'm probably going to dual boot into Windows again because then there everything works. Okay, guys, see you around. Have fun.